I'm Sheila Gunn Reed. I'm standing in a farmer's field along the side of Highway 2 with hundreds of cars whizzing by. So you know what that means. Yes, it's time to unveil another all new Rebel Billboard. Now, the last time I was out here, there was still snow on the ground. That was back when we were erecting our big, beautiful StopNotLee.com billboard promoting my new book called Stop Notley. Now the cows are grazing and you did stop Notley. And so that billboard, it came down today. I'm very sad to see it go, but a new one has gone up. It's our job to make sure that brand new Premier Jason Kenney keeps his word to us, that he repeals the carbon tax and that he roots out all the radicals and environmentalist saboteurs appointed by the former NDP government. We also have to make sure that Jason Kenney never appoints saboteurs of his own. Sadly, he just did. Jason Kenney has appointed a man named Mark Cameron to be the deputy minister of the new policy office. Mark Cameron, though, has spent the last five or six years lobbying for Kathleen Wynne's cap-and-trade scheme in Ontario for Justin Trudeau's nationwide carbon tax and against Saskatchewan's fight against Justin Trudeau's carbon tax. Mark Cameron's also lobbied for increases to Rachel Notley's crippling carbon tax here in Alberta. Cameron did all that at his pro-carbon tax lobby organization called Canadians for Clean Prosperity. Well, at Canadians for Clean Prosperity, Cameron also had no problem appointing the head of the Ivy Foundation to his board of directors. The Ivy Foundation funds the Tides Foundation. Now you can see all of that story and sign my petition at firecameron.com. But let me get to why I'm here today. Today is the big reveal of our Fire Cameron billboard along the side of Highway 2, just south of Leduc, Alberta. We don't want the hiring of Cameron to just fly under the radar. We want everybody to know that Jason Kenney hired a pro-carbon tax lobbyist despite being elected to the Premier's office on an anti-carbon tax mandate. Now, Jason Kenney, he's promised to repeal the carbon tax by the end of May as his first bill, his Bill 1, and I absolutely trust him to do that. But I also want Jason Kenney to hire people who are aligned with the values of Albertans, those people who sent him to the big chair in the Premier's office. In Alberta, we just put up with years of the NDP appointing all kinds of people who are not ideologically aligned with Albertans to all sorts of positions and rewards within government. This new Fire Cameron billboard will get 1.3 million impressions every single month because it sits alongside one of Alberta's busiest highways, Highway 2. And even better, this thing is going up on a Thursday afternoon before the May long weekend, making this highway even busier. Now, you can help me cover the cost of this billboard at firecameron.com. You see, the drift of the former progressive conservative government went so far to the left that they made Rachel Notley's NDP seem like a reasonable alternative four years ago. That can never happen again. That's why I will be keeping a very watchful eye on this conservative government to make sure that they stay as conservative as possible. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunry. Jason Kenney just hired a pro-carbon tax lobbyist named Mark Cameron to be his chief policy man. Mark Cameron's got to go. We've already had enough of that here in Alberta. To sign my petition calling on Jason Kenney to fire Mark Cameron and to help cover the cost of this billboard behind me along the side of Highway 2, please go to firecameron.com.